Do you think I'll remember? Will I remember how to play? I mean, fuck it. Like, life is my tutorial. I'll be fine. It's a pretty basic game. It's like three buttons Agent I have to Agent 47 know. and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. ICA Ica. That's a uh, food store here in uh, Sweden. Of Providence. A secret Hi, organization Tio. working in the highest echelons on of power. I won't lie since losing all my friends Providence back in July due to constant. relationship Approaches issues Diana been pretty lonely. However, you have been the solid the rock I needed client. and now I can and say I'm glad I've subbed for so long. I will get what? <laughs> I'm not used to having TTS on. Fuck, what did they say? He and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they managed to capture the constant, yes. forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. Okay, kill the bad guys. Simple enough, dude. However, the constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of life is my tutorial known as Chaos Game. Providence. <laughs> to it, we were just assets. To use and throw away. To do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. What? Me and 47. Who are you? Much has been lost, but we are close. Did we find our brother in Hitman 2 or something? I can't remember. Constant. Providence's chief. Oh yeah, wasn't it another guy like me? Finally learned the names of its three partners. Oh yeah. We lay the past to rest. Yeah, right. And just maybe. Look towards the future. Thirty-seven. It's time. Right, we were both like adopted uh, boys who tur turned agent. Hitman Battle Royale. How many streamers have made that joke? Come on. The partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. Well, that's not good. Do. I see okay. someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What does a helicopter do in this high up in the sky? Can they even go that high? What the hell? Fake. Nice. Not realistic. Helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations over. They're so high up. There's no way a helicopter goes that high. Right. We have a situation. Carlisle nah, has left the nah, building. Nah. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. Okay. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter. The world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al Ghazali. Marcus kill them all. is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. 
Carl Ingram is a powerful Hello. Washington Peter. kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. With a fucking Happy pen. Hand. So why is this tower like so fucking high up in the sky? What's going on here? Welcome what is this Dubai, futuristic? 57. Oh, we're in Dubai. Ah, that Today explains everything. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. And where's Hitman Co-op? Give us Hitman Co-op. Devs! Devs! Right, let's, uh, let's play around a little here. First of all, windowed. Ooh. What, where's full screen now, man? What is this? Is this full screen? Chat, is full screen or exclusive full screen um, borderless? <laughs> Hello. Which one? I don't want to tab out on the wrong one. Full screen is borderless. Okay, let me tab out. Oh, you were right. I did not believe you. Chat, Hello, we're turning team. off all alert sounds. We're going immersion. 100%. Better Alex, Mish Mishrek, Hobo Shruggles, welcome back. Don Nupo Mania, thanks for subbing. Actually a duck, what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. That's a good one. Ultra Link, thanks for the 500 as well, glad you liked my quote. And my dad likes toast. Yeah, unfortunate timing on this one. Let me, let me see what you said. I won't lie. It's been pretty low. Have you been solid rock I need and now I can see? I'm glad I've subbed for so long. I'll, we'll get to three years. I'll see you at the three years, man. I hope things continue going up for you, man. Exxon Tiger with the 23 and Cape was taken. With a gifted sub, thank you. Yeah, let's set the bet. Set the bet. I'm gonna do my Insta story because I forgot and we'll play. Sometimes when I stream, guys, everything's chaotic. That's just the way it goes. I, I don't know what I'm saying there. Um, hi, I'm... Oh, fuck me, man. What am I... <laughs> Okay, hi everyone. I'm live. We're playing Hitman 3. We're gonna kill people and stuff. It's gonna be a great time. Hope you swing by. See you in chat. Okay, hi everyone. I'm live. Oh, fuck off. Organic leaf blower? Do you like the size of my steak? What? Oh, streak. <laughs> yeah, sure. 40 months. It's a long time, man. Thank you. <laughs> I could have sworn that's a steak. Fine, we'll go, we'll go ultra where we can. Let's let's see what this bad boy what this bad boy can do. Boom. Boom. Why is V-Sync on? Is it? I don't see V-Sync. It's off. V-Sync off. Why are you lying to me? You motherfucker. 
What's the bet? 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Eliminate Carl Ingram. Eliminate Marcus Stuyvesant. Huh? No, okay. So why would you have to do that? Five or less. Six or above. Okay, what? Deaths before I complete the mission? Oh, shit. Dude, this is cool. This looks good. There's a bit unnatural here, I think. Oh, I don't mind. I think it's nice. Chad enjoys it. As long as they don't go crazy. how to play <laughs> which is a really good sign 47 use your camera and scan the lock will you I think I can override the windows controls from here scan the lock ah there we go yeah ah, it's fine it shows me how to stuff it that was really easy Seven. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Hide. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Oh, H. H for hide. I do want to remind me to put my inventory on like tab or something. I mean, clicking I while playing is just not very smooth, is it? Why would default be I? No, I, I mean, I get its inventory, but you know. What? Is he a magician? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Did he... There's no... There's no explanation. I am upset. Where's, uh, where's inventory? I. I like tab. Where's X? I hate X. Agility actions, X. I like... Oh, blank stick is cover. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Nice. My, okay. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al ghazali I bid you welcome to the Senate. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm proud. I am blinded. We don't need sunglasses. You are way too close to me, and we have a building in the world. Isn't it called the uh, Baj Khalifa or something? So I'm humbly proud to open the Burj Al Ghazali. Oh, okay. So they beat it. The Burj Khalifa, yeah. Lucas. Now please be my guests and celebrate and thank you. The Mia Khalifa. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. No idea who my target is. I, I 
Carl and Marcus. I don't think that guy is Carl nor Marcus. I feel like he would have, my brother would have said like, Carl Ingram, there he is. Oh yeah, control, I forgot about control. Adrian! Adrian! Isn't it <laughs> Rocky? What is, what's his girlfriend called? Adrian! She's not called Adrian. What's she called? Adriana! Is it Adrian? Adrian! Listen. I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. Okay. And that terminal gives me an idea. Okay. And there's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Hmm. Let's not do that yet. I want to see other ways to do it. I remember there being a way that you can see all... Is it F1? Yeah, it is. Okay. That sounds kind of boring. I mean, we don't want to hack. This isn't Watch Dogs. Let's do something more fun. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Cool. Not now, though. I want to see what more there is. God, do you think I can kill everyone in this room? Like, theoretically. Can I just kill everyone and there'll be 200 bodies just laying here? Oh, I kinda- I mean, there's so many people. Honestly? This is one of the things I like about modern games. How many humans they can put all together, you know? I think it's great. I want to share my Take it easy, sir. Yeah, I Thanks. Sir, you can't oh, sorry. be here. I'm glad we speak the same language. Oh, fuck you. Any news on the new guard assigned a code name Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down in the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers Okay, with him. so we have to go kill Pinky. To work for that Dawood Rangan. I am Pinky. The Bollywood producer who died doesn't sound promising. Oh, I killed that Bollywood producer. <laughs> no, nope, it doesn't. Yeah, I like Stuyvesant that. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. I'm Pinky. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling yeah. distance of the little worm. Perfect. How do I select? Select it. Infiltrate the staff area. So we said downstairs. So we're gonna... What's this? Trespassing. Okay, good. So we just have to find the staff area. What? <laughs> Was that the staff area? <laughs> it's fine, yeah. I was testing you. Okay, so that's... Ah, that's the icon for the objectives. Stealth mode. Damn, I feel like last time I went in, in here, nobody noticed. Maybe from above? Oh yeah, this feels like... Yeah, this is good. This feels perfect.
I need the keys. This is not perfect. This is pretty useless. Can I like whistle this garden? Um Hello, sir. Sir. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> now, don't show yourself around here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. just forget about me. Um. Um. He was my guy. A second. Am I allowed to be here? I know you can do it. I'm not allowed to be here. Okay. Um. Well, I like the way I've just been kind of sent in, and I have to find out blindly how to do this. I do like that. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I wait here until this guy turns- he goes back and forth here. Next time he's here, I take his outfit. And then I dump his body here in the corner. That's fine. That's fine. Sir, I'm sorry, this is a- That's a good boy. No offense, but I hope I don't see you again. You know what, man? Like... <laughs> Just... It was always gonna be this. Whether, whether I wanted it or not. No, I'm not going loud. Still stealthing it.
First time I'm on your stream. Hey, welcome! Why kill the civilian? Because he was a witness. Right, then never check that corner. We're golden. And now we just have to... You know what? Now we're fine to roam everywhere. <sighs> I wonder if there was somewhere I could have hidden it. Or them. Now, what was his name? He had like a nickname, Diggy or something. Look, this is gonna. Hey, you! I have a problem. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. Pinky. If you're yeah. off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? Do I know you? Oh, was that yours? Hey, idiot! <laughs> Looks like I have another job to do. Hey, you can't just pretend I'm not here. I'm not gonna take any more of your bullshit. How do I close the door? <laughs> you really think anybody's gonna buy that get up? That's a disguise you're wearing. Hey, this guy's up to no good. Can someone please help me? Jesus, that's a dead body. I'm calling for help. Please help! No, you're not. Help me! I can still do this. I can still do this. Just have to take care of all the bodies. Oh, fuck. will be my lair. Yeah, can I mop? Can I get a mop? A actual question. Can I clean?
Nej. So, I have no idea where I am. What did I do? Present yourself at the security office. Easy. So, let's get to the security office. Is it difficult being this smart? No, not if you're me. Not if you're smart enough to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Hello, I'm what's <laughs> pickle? Was <laughs> a pickle? I am pickle. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, <laughs> Pinky. he's known as code Close. name Pinky. Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't coming. <laughs> Pinkle, but pickle, re reporting for duty. <laughs> Sir, this is security. Just Pinky. calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> wait for Marcus. Okay. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Okay. Oh, Marcus is a. Douche. Right there, oh, I have to kill Marcus you. Marcus Stuyvesant, hey, you Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. I have very high he might not look like much, but he's duty. done more damage to the world than you could dream. You have your credentials on you? Uh, yes. A Rangan guy. Never asked me to work for him. Never calls yeah, me. I put in my CV. It all looks very promising. Such dick. Yes. Such dick. Good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay, this all looks very good. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. Got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Mm. No. You know what it is? It's like a movie, right? It's one of those moments where you as the viewer get to see the hitman think, like, I could do this. It's like, but I'm not gonna. Let's see how this unfolds. Need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. Keeping the big man safe, huh? Yeah, nice gig. Yeah, that'll count, chat, don't worry. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless okay. I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. What the hell? Don't you ever go wandering off again. Oh, wow. Okay. So do your goddamn job. Yeah, yeah. Now follow. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. I can't wait to, to kill this guy. Rubber ball. Bounces back if you don't stab it, correct? Okay, we are almost there. You see the This looks targets. like a place I can kill you. Any oh, okay. Can shoot a target. Okay. With a knife. Oh. That's where the talent lies. Why do you want your bodyguard to be able to throw knives? With a knife, or even better with a gun. Ah, I see. Okay. I want to see your skills. Give me the knife. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. 
I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. I'd like to impress him. You cocky idiot. Nice I thought maybe I would have to manually aim, but this is... Does he know I have auto aim? Look at that! Not bad at all. That was a magnificent performance! I like you. I think we will get along just fine. Distrust. What to do with all that power? You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Could I have done a really cool kill? Or could, I, could I have just pushed him? You can push? Oh, you can push him? Him. I want to try it. I want to try it. <laughs> France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. Now oh, come on, that, does that count? Do it. It's okay. up to you guys. Um, Adrian Sand, twenty-five gifted subs. A big thank you to you, man. I wanted to thank you. Um. Expect you to be by Much my love for that man. Thank you for and the 25 gifted subs. Bathroom breaks are Dude, of course just walk. Permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important Hey, this, I don't know what you're talking about. Chat stays absolutely fine when there's a bet closed, going. But your eyes wide open. Chat understood. Genuinely your calm down. Indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife. Much love, Adrian. To Much love, taste. man. Ethan Blompoike, Wafui, Ghoster, and good to see you guys. Thanks for the resubs. Yes. Good. I'm so close to killing you in PUBG. So Hell yeah. Like Pop and Garbage, Velpoka, uh, Poika, Count Olaf, It's PR Rabbit. Thanks for the resubs. Insta Reborn, thanks for subscribing. And Drippy Chippy, welcome, guys. Andy, with another gifted sub, thank you, man. 12th key as well, much love to you guys. And the resub for 12th key, thank you. Ethan okay, Siman, Max, you welcome back, you guys. Targets. Big, uh, big hype targets. coming in. Thank you guys so much. Thank you once again, Adrian Sand, 25 yes, subs. You're incredible, thank you very much, man. To do Thank with you all services. that power. Take the rest of the day off. You deserve Are you it. Thank you, sir. Stay it alone an with honor. me. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. Well, let's get to work. 
Some things you should know about me. This is very much on a need-to-know basis. Okay? What? Oh, sorry. Keep talking. It's close enough. Please sorry. move back. Go back to your monologue. <laughs> I'm here incognito. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Whoops. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. I like that. That's a fun kill. Is it autosave? Surely it autosaves when you kill people. No, it doesn't. Interesting. You would think it would autosave. Oh, they found my- my lair. That's not good. Bombs away. to do up here? Or is it just the, these two guys? Oh, right. I'm undercover. Can I be up there? No, I'm trespassing. Okay. Bodies. Oh, why didn't I put on their clothes? Why would I do that? <laughs> do you think that they'll notice the fact that I as a pilot have an AK on my back? I don't think they'll notice it's on my back. I think they only notice it if I take it out. You are gonna regret this. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Just what I need. A guy who's allowed to wear these clothes. I'd say this is going well, right? Sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. Okay, but it means I'll work slower. I don't care what tempo you work. It will be slow, and I'll probably get a warning about that. I think I'm in love. Well, time. So if that should happen, I should be able to run down and activate the other swipe as well. 
How about I get it that one? Talk to me. We've got a Delta. <laughs> Something is definitely not right here. Hold it, miss you! Give You know, the thing is that once the... Once the killing starts, it's really hard to stop. <laughs> like, it's... I mean, once I kill one... Just, I just can't stop killing these people. You know you're not supposed to kill anyone else in the target? No. No, that's not true. I'm supposed to kill whoever I want to kill. I'm my own boss. What? Where? Two guys. Hey, it's these two. I need assistance. No, you don't. The package, here. Move! Ooh, the package. No. Oh no. Providence Pat and Brad Was that him? Billion. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait. I mean, oh, okay, we gotta blast our way out of here. Forty-seven. <laughs> Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Get your hostile target! Copy that! Come on! There's only one way to play Hitman. One true way. That's guns blazing. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. I think we could do... I reckon we could do all of that a little bit better. Let me, uh... Let me start from here again. Let me try not to kill as many people. Right, but I do need to kill these two, because I need the outfit. But maybe I can just... <laughs> Fuck, I didn't mean to... I... I'm gonna try to be better, hold on. He's just talked to this guy. The guy comes back looking completely different. Who are you? Hey, you. Hey. Okay, now, starting now, <laughs> starting now. Huh? What? Hey, welcome. Please, man. Who will feed my fish? I just like lightly punch him. Oh. I need help. Okay, starting now. Ooh, someone's all kitted out. We're good. 
Oh, his fish. But I like listening to the radio. Our Royal Highnesses have never complained about it before. I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. Okay, but it means I'll work slower. I don't care. Wonder if I get extra what points by bringing the eggs with me. It will be. I mean, there's a reason I can pick up these eggs, right? They're worth a shitload. I think I'm in love. Well, it's time. So That's what I'm happen, thinking. I should be able to run down and activate the other swipe as well. But I guess that will need a little practice. Happy to not be at work tomorrow. Oi, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm just the same as you. I would give it up right away if I were you. Am I not allowed to have this sword on me? There's no uh, exclamation mark on it. What's with the costume? That is clearly a disguise. Whoa! I thought I uh, I thought there was no exclamation mark on it. There's no red exclamation mark on it though. Moving set. Twenty meters. Eleven o'clock. No visual. Flush him out. Damn it, man, you guys did this. I was trying to go through it all without killing. So I think that guy, because some people are searching for me, that guy knew who I was. So to everyone telling me that I shouldn't have the sword on me, that, that wasn't the reason. Search the area. We need to find the perks. Sure thing. <laughs> now where's the target? Huh? Hey, hey, are you okay? Over there, by the exit. I could get to him. I could just get to him by going here. So if I just run past these guys. Whoop. She's the only one who knows. She's the only one on to me. <laughs> the maid. He's above. Get up somehow. He's above me. There's another floor above. He's right above me. Hey, Stair icon here. Right? Yeah, I'm good. You? Go here. Ah, here he is. I'm on it. I'm being hunted. Okay. I need help. It's fine. It's fine. Tell you what, guys. Next, next level. I'm a professional hitman. This is my- this is my noob level. I start off as a chaotic... GRENADE! Oh no, it's a- it's a- it's a flash. I start my story off as a chaotic... Psychopath addicted to killing. And through experience, slowly I teach myself to... To, uh... You know, not kill a bunch, but only kill 
the necessary. But you know, as we we don't start perfect. So now I just gotta get through everyone. What's this? Okay. <laughs> It's not a non-target if they're trying to kill me. Can I parachute? What? Oh, oh god. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a single player game. <laughs> He's reloading. He's no longer reloading. Yeah! Okay. the helicopter. Oh no, do I? Okay, yep. They don't call me Agent 47 for nothing. Beautiful, beautiful gameplay coming in from me. Tell you what, guys. Now I've tried that. I'll give you professional gameplay. I'll give you professional gameplay. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. You know, I could totally today. see them making this into a co-op game. I hope you like the rain, 46. It's so easy uh, to make this into a co-op game. I mean, you just double the gameplay. How did you... I have every right? number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. 
Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. No, genuinely, yeah. Control C, Control V. You know what I mean, right? Just double the, the gameplay, like, oh, Agent 47, looks like you can kill the left twin. Agent 83, why don't you poison the other twins? Mojito. And then you just try to time it, you know, like, okay. Okay, my twin is about to drink the cocktail in one minute. You need to kill your twin within 10 seconds of that. And it's like, okay, she's drinking now. It's like, Bleh. and then the other twin's like, what's going on? And she's about to call for guards. And that's when the other, tw the other agent is on like a sniper, you know, like, Pew. I got him. Oh, you got, you got a guard coming in on your right. You got to hide the body. I'll tranquilize him. Pew. Like it would be such good gameplay. Right? <laughs> you could totally see it. You want it, you want it. Because you're Twitch chat, you want to make fun of me. But you know it sounds sick. It sounds fucking lit. That sounds like great. Like if, if they want to take this to the next step, they've done three Hitmans now. And it's kind of same, same, you know? Next step. Hitman. <laughs> no, uh. Hitman. Hitman. I don't know what you. Hitmen! Of course! Hitmen. Hitmen 1, Hitmen 2, and Hitmen 3. Just call it Hitmen. Ah. Oh, that'd be great. I would eat it. I. I. I, <laughs> I would, um. I would play it. <laughs> I would, I would, I would play the shit out of that. I would play the shit out of that. Honestly, I'm a little hungry. Yeah, how'd you, how'd you know? I think that that would be cool. Um, Nickel the tree with the 300 bits and Miss Evie with the 300. One minute you say only one way to play Hitman, and then you switch to maybe I should try a new approach. At the end of the day, whatever you choose will make us cringe. Laugh regardless. So keep doing your wacky bloodlusting hitman self. Thanks. You know what? I feel a little pressure playing hitman because like There's so many ways you can kill someone and so like if I poison someone Someone will be like ah nah, you should have waited another minute. You could have killed him with a helicopter blade, you know Or something like that like I mean obviously I I mean I kind of went guns But I always really enjoyed kind of just shooting my way out, but I'm gonna I also want to try to do some some more professional ways, but some of them I feel can be a bit boring as well. I like to do professional ways if they're if I can tell that one's gonna be fun, but a lot of them feel just like okay, well now he's dead anyway. Like yeah, it can be fun. Depends on what what it is. Um, Daddy Leonis. You have to start a level. I wonder if I can kill all two hundred of these people. Tio during the level. Let's make that a reality. Hope you enjoy the game, my friend. Much love. Thanks. I would like to go back at some point and kill everyone in that room to see what, like, as a challenge, to see if I can just fill the room with bodies. Let's do another mission or two, and then I might go back and see if I can do that. If we can unlock some weapons to start with. Wouldn't that be fun? Try to fill it with rooms. Make this, like, pool of bodies. But uh, let's try the next, uh, here we go, Death in the Family. Looks like we're in, like, a villa. Like a mansion. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. Oh, we have motorbikes. You can't so, be a hit professional killer if you can't drive a motorbike. You ready for this? How are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do.
Alexa Does it just Carlyle me, or does dead. Agent 47's According face look a lot more lifeless compared to so the previous games? It caused quite a stir when the Something about his face, it looks breakfast table, basic. Alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Okay. Right. Oh. Happy hunting, 47. Okay. See you on the other side. I'm glad you guys noticed the turtleneck. I put it on specifically because I'm a hitman. I feel like it's a very hitman thing to wear a turtleneck. Oh, he's wearing a turtleneck. Oh, perfect. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. I... <laughs> As I was saying. I love a good turtleneck. Find them very cozy. Oh, there are difficulties. Assassination is serious business. You plan, you execute, you escape. And your handler is right there, giving the guidance you need to succeed. Why doesn't it tell us what master difficulty is? Is it just no saves? Press it. Oh, you're the ultimate assassin. No challenge too hard. One save per mission. No mission story gets available. Extra surveillance cameras. Extra enforcers. Ruthless and man in combat. Bloody eliminations. Ruin disguises. NPCs are more attentive to sounds. Let's go with professional. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Damn, this is Any cool. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh shit, I start out here! Oh, this is so cool. Ooh, this looks good. This looks really good. This 
is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Figured I'd come up. Agent 47, here to kill the family. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. I mean, like, how easy is this to climb? What the hell? This is so easy to trespass. And I'm in, you know? I'm gonna play this like a professional fucking hitman. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, I have such a good idea, chat. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved. If you're here, everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madam's funeral and. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend has a restraining order. What did she just say? The I think it might be him. Could you go see if it's him? Copy that. Thumbs up, mate. Ready. Got trouble. Ah, shit, they saw me. Okay, so I'm gonna take it like a true gentleman. Put your hands up. I want to see your hands. Final warning, hot Josh I I I wanna be the detective. I wanna be the detective. That's why I'm not gonna go out guns blazing. Listen, I wanna be the detective. Ah, oh, perfect timing. I need I wonder if I should I know, wait, I... or if I should get him more in. Maybe if we just set it to follow this. Excuse me, you really shouldn't be here. This is not starting the way I wanted it to start. Hey, you, you're on, right? We need help. Remember farm? Just can you not? This fucking! I cannot wait to get my hands on this guy. This guy fucking runs to a garden, tells on me. I, I, there'll be a moment in which I can do it, I'm sure. Hold on. I know I oughtn't to say anything, but... Wrong story, really? Oh, yeah. I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house. It's an unseen. We know what we're doing, so don't worry about that. I'm in. God. <laughs> such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all.
Searching. What happened? Did someone see me? We should be fine, right? Hey, you. And I'm in. What seems to be the problem here? Command, you copy. Yeah, we've got what looks like a casualty here. Over. What? What happened? That is Alexa Carlyle. What the fuck? Unofficial leader Why? of the Provenance Partners. And last one to be alive. Cameras. Cameras. The cameras. There must be cameras. The cameras. How did you find me? involved in this. Fuck you. How did they find there? There must be cameras, right? It would have told me if I got spotted through cameras, though. Do you think it glitched? Oh, I'm good. I think I'm good. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. You got Results it, and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I just found a real weapon. I suppose Somebody you will want to start at the <laughs> Stay In my people, experience, let the take over. a thorough examination okay, of the potential crime scene yeah. is half the job done. <laughs> Good. <laughs> from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Shit. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I am a serious investigator. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. Yes. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. And I am completely Madame's fine with that. children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. It's a bit of a bitch move. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. Certainly. I'll consider her dead when I leave. <coughs> How do I um, set up quick save, chat? Because you don't want to watch me. It's very, it takes you out of the, can I just set up like a button for quick save? You don't want to watch me do this every time, pause to save, you know? There must be a way to quick save, right? Not possible. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Let's try F5. No. Okay, you have to actually do this every time. That's uh, that's a true shame, because it's such a classic game in which you, you know, pause and save. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. Okay. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. Oh. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. The killer is still in the room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Killer's Mr. Zachary's room. Still in the room, my right. I'm calling it. A locked room murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47?
Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. The license to kill. Pew, pew. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Now, Not why exactly would he what you would do that? Someone suicidal. If he weren't to live for another day. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. The killer will come out from hiding. <laughs> uh, okay, so we need... Hello? We need more writing from... Dude. So we need to compare it with some other writing that we have to find. Maybe out here? Sir? Who are you? Oh, you're just a uh, nobody. Damn, this is a really cool uh, level. Really cool level. Hmm, yeah. Remind me how to use, uh, instinct? Beautiful. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> nice. Thanks for this. Yeah, how do I use uh, <laughs> how do I use instinct? <laughs> Control, thanks. Where's the depth of field, man? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, so that, our oh, control is instant. Okay. Of course, yes, a you can just door. see this. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. 
Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Mr. Fansby! There's a pervert on the loose! Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only person's here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. God, I have skin as smooth as a baby's bottom, you know? So how does one Yet, solve I feel like I'm not that far person. off in age from this guy. Motive, means but he has so much fucking texture on his face compared to me. For like, we have such a different face, him and the me. For clues first. Open the intel menu. Okay, here we go. This is kind of fun. This is different, isn't it? So, suspects, Gregory, Gregory Carlisle, the oldest child, Rebecca Carlisle, the youngest child, Emma Carlisle, the wife of Gregory. She's the one that faked her death, right? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Madame Carlisle is. Okay, yeah. Patrick Carlyle. Okay. Or... Okay, so I can question them all. Agent 47 was born in 1993. What? My lost button. That's the same year as me. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Is there more stuff? Oh yeah, look at this. You can check the rooms out. Okay, let's start with Emma and Gregory's room. Now, a good idea. I, just, I guess I just go. What are you? Oh, M. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they have a thing going, but why? I should I should have caught them on camera. In fact, I think that's the mission. I think I'm meant to catch them on camera. I leave and go back to that. I bet you I can catch them. I think I'm meant to catch them on the camera. It's a story thing. Ford Jr. calling from Morgan Yates and Cohn. Oh, um, is this not a room I'm supposed to be in? <laughs> ah, down here. Down on the left. HTC depot number 545. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Oh, he's born 1964. Okay. Why, they didn't give me a key? Well, then what the fuck am I doing here? I want her to have the Easy solution. <laughs> oh, 
I'm in. Yo, she didn't eat anything because she feels so bad about the murder. Caught in the act. Such a delicious breakfast. Why would you leave it uneaten? I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. So she has an alibi is what you're saying. What? They're all perverts. Oh my god, it's the butler. The butler... The butler has set up all these pervert rooms. I've got you, butler. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So, one out of two clues found. What's the clue regarding the lamp? The map? of his writing is in there oh you can probably make the lamp uh the reason it's highlighted you could probably make it fall on someone that's cool i like that the handwriting does not match zachary's suicide note okay on to the next room so down here on the left right Hello, sir. Hello. She just clams up when I try to get an explanation. Not even an apology. I mean, <laughs> believing our mother dead is not exactly how I'd like to spend the week. And then she shows up like that. I nearly shut myself. <laughs> I mean, she's mad really about her faking her death. I see self this time. I should opinion you back yeah. Sorry. Fuck! Ah, oh, damn, they were right there, canoodling. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. It's part of the story, chat, I'm telling you. Love this camera. <laughs> That's how I catch the couple. I have to go outside and <laughs> catch them in the act from the from the window. Hold on, are they talking right now? I got okay. I know how to catch them now. Is 
There's something here I'm meant to take a picture of. What do you think it is? Oh, shoes. I'm train! Now this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. Oh. The plot thickens. Okay. The plot thickens. Are we done in here then? Two out of four, Jesus. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in here then. the rest of the clues. What do you guys think? Oh, what do we have there? A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? All right, I'm done, right? Yeah. Nice. That was good progress. I'm gonna get a nice close picture of them. Here we go, chat. Why can't the- why can't the window be closed? That's me. <laughs> I got it. Caught in the act. Where we go next? Um, do we go up a floor? I don't know, chat. I don't see any camera icons. Ah, down a floor. I'm kind of following. There's a lot of names to remember here. Great place. You should come visit. I'll take you somewhere really nice. Spend a few bucks. This is such a. I mean, they were so inspired by um, 
Um... Why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude. That's what it is. Um... Knives Out, yeah. Great movie. Watch Knives Out, guys. Great, great movie. Really enjoyable. Really, really enjoyable. Meant to be a clue in here? <gasps> I talk to you? You always let Professor Edward Carlyle. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's... I feel like Agent 47... We were. ...has he forgotten that he's me. actually a hitman, you know? You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? What the His fuck? His plants, mother, and the staff, all the company he had. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it. I may have forgotten about it as well, yes. I'm just saying I can't breathe. Is he dying? Or is he just panicking? Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? What a baby face. Are you wondering face. about my alibi, Mr. Detective? Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it. Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to pry from- Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Is that all? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Yeah, they're making a uh, James Bond, aren't they? Emma Carlisle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around 8 o'clock. Anything else you want to know? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. How do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? It's have you. you anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary Her. was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Never forget a face. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Yeah, did she talk about going up? I I'm not remembering everyone's names as well. What's your name? You're Gregory, aren't you? 
Your name is... He plays the strings of my heart with that piano. I can feel the hair... Beautiful picture. Mm. On my neck, stand. You have a way with words, Stan. Did I miss something in here? Why waste away in front of the books when he can play like that? That music makes my heart sore. She said the boys were not at eight. They said eight thirty. Hmm. I don't feel like that's very important. That seems very. I mean, he died at like 10, so yes, what does that matter? Hi, it's me. Edward Carlyle's notes for the eulogy is writing for his mother's pretend funeral. The handwriting does not match Zachary's suicide Dead. note. Edward, I know I'm not supposed to think you back in. Let's go planting. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madame Carlyle will be furious. Uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need to... She raises an eyebrow? <laughs> Is it just me or did she raise an eyebrow as I zoomed in? This shoot to happen, okay? And I need it to be perfect. <laughs> can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Oh, I, I guess we could do that. No, I have the key. Oh no, the key was missing, wasn't it? The key was missing. It was everything but the key. It was the kind of the key holder. We only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. But he he was upset believing his sister. Damn. Yeah, I forgot. Hello, sir. Um, hello, sir. Hey, Stamenko, welcome, man. Let's go get more clues for now. There's a lot I haven't done. I still suspect the butler. It's always the butler. What? The second floor, maybe. No, this floor. What am I missing? Oh, kid, a kid. What tiny ass feet? Oh, my God. Emma. Greetings, sir. Um, right, we have to finally go here. There. Uh, straight through here, right. I've forgotten who we're killing. We're here to solve a murder. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Rebecca Carlyle, can you tell me about yesterday evening? Greg, we don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. You don't seem see. very upset about his death. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well. I bet you it was all of them. Stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. Quarter to nine? I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my oh. New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room. 
and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. It was all Did of them. He act strange last night. You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Can't you just relax? Is there anything else you want to ask me? upstairs. Why do you think he's here? I think so. This is the mother's favorite kind of thing. Can't remember ever having a family. You'll see. You'll see. Uh, documents gathered by Warwick on recent movements of assets belonging to the media branch. They show a number of unauthorized movements of funds and privileges. Okay. Okay, we just have to get to the greenhouse. We also have to search Mr. Fernby's office. Where is that? Mr. Fernby's office. It doesn't exist. Could it be small? But then it would be an icon. Chat, where do you think Mr. Fernby's office is? Just notice you were featured on iFunny. Hell yeah. We've made it. Talk to these two as well. No, I've talked to her. Oh, alibi confirmed. I see. Oh, Mr. Fernsby is the butler. Butler's room. Must be down here, right? Must be one of these rooms. It's quite off then. Um... Happens surprisingly often, but then that I have a clip that goes big on iFunny. I did not realize iFunny was still such a big thing. That Fernsby! Is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. I've got you now. How do I get to him? Can't get into his office. How do I get into his office? I need a crowbar. How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? A fake funeral tomorrow? No. Oh. Zachary. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I. I spent the evening with Patrick. I know. Okay. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's oh, what wait, he is. Wait, who's Patrick? Who's Patrick, chat? I can't deal with all this pretend. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? You're Any giving me a bit of anxiety, sir. No, no, we saw no one outside. Oh, the cool Patrick's one. Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. 
I need to stop thinking about Emma all the time, but she just makes me so angry. Tell me. She scolded Mary for not making the bed the way she prefers it. How the fuck? I need a master key or a crowbar. Um, I also need to find Patrick. I saw him earlier when I didn't realize you can question them. And now I have no idea where he is. I mean, if I was a master key, I'd probably be in here. She said, things will change around here. I can promise you that. And her son Patrick is just as bad. Maybe I'd have it if I was like, Madam. Tough, really tough. This isn't as easy as one would think. Yeah, instinct. Gotta use instinct more. Hey, where's Patrick? How can you be so relaxed? I wish you'd take things more seriously. Have you seen Patrick? Did you give the Fitzpatrick token to Madame Carlyle's daughter? Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? So. Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Who just leaves a pistol out like that? Not very good, um... Security, you know? It's not very secure. By the way, well, someone screamed. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad. Sir, I will have to. You are trespassing. Please turn around. That's it. One foot in front of the other, and goodbye forever. I know. I guess I thought he was going to be winking on the street out. Damn it! Security detail at a staged funeral event tomorrow. That'll be. Hello there, sir. Hello. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, I'm a little lost. I think I'm just gonna have to search a bunch. You saw the real detective, you don't look like him. That's cool. I like that. Good, Mr. Man. Ford. Looking good. This is Carla. I don't get well, me wrong, but I, I hope we never meet job. again. Excuse me. You're not allowed to be here, sir. Please. That's good, sir. Keep walking. There's nothing here. <laughs> um. This place is a maze, man. <laughs> Where did Patrick go? Patrick has disappeared, I swear to god. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the greenhouse, see if there's some way there. I also have the fuse cell for the cameraman there, although I ha I'm not sure how I can give that to him. Patrick is in one of these rooms. If it makes you feel any better, I was running through this mission last night trying to beat it ASAP and it still took me 45 minutes. Yeah, this is... That does make me feel better, thank you. <gasps> Patrick? I understand. I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. 
but you really need to talk to Anthony. He's the man with the papers. Listen, you know who I am, who my grandmother is. Okay. Sorry, man, but you're just making me feel a little uncomfortable now. I have some questions okay. to ask you. Listen, you know who I am, who my grandmother is, was, right? Just relax. It'll be fine. You'll get your returns. Don't worry. Give Anthony a call. Interesting. Okay, okay yo. Patrick Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. If that's all I think I'll get back. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Hmm. Piece of shit. Hey, Swoosh! Thanks for the 500. Ijopeko, what are bits? I don't know. Try sending one again, Ijopeko. It's fake money, don't worry. Miss Evie, this part of Hitman feels like what L.A. Noir should have been. Tio's sad. Yeah. It, it gives me hope for James Bond, to be honest. I think James Bond, uh, I mean, if they, they, they can do stuff like this, then they, they could do a really good mix with the combat and um, the, um, I don't know, stuff like this. Um, thank you very much, guys, for the, for the support. Commander Cody and Zwoosh, thanks for the gifted subs as well. You should have listened to me. Thank you everyone for the support. Hmm, yeah. I think a mix of this in combat is the most fun in a game. Oh, does it not need a fuse cell? Is this not for the... Oh, here we go. Oh, this seriously needs to step into this century. It's not safe at all. If this was back home, it would be a lawsuit you waiting to happen. Back off now. I feel like I can kill someone using that. You don't. You don't get to do that. Everything needs to be ready for the funeral. It needs to look good for the family portrait. I can feel that pressure too. <clears throat> I think I need to find a crowbar, to be honest. The rhododendron perigidium blossom. They were his favorites. I know, Oliver. I know. But we shall all miss Opened a fucking door. 
Calling in. Calling in. <sighs> I need to do without anyone seeing me. How the hell do I do that? Hmm. Will never again. Stop, stop. Yeah. Jesus H. Christ. You what if I subdue trouble, all three of them? Of ah. Let me just give it a go. Let me give it a go. What the hell? What? <clears throat> No, I can do this without eliminating you. <laughs> there must be- maybe there's a box in here, hold on. Can I hide them in here? Oh, I can. Perfect. I'll hide them in there. No, they won't wake up. I mean, the, uh, the, tr the detective never woke up. And I didn't kill the detective. You neck snapped the detective? Did I? Did I kill the detective? No, I think, I think, I think if I leave them in the open, they wake up. But if I hide them in the box here, then I'm good. You gotta be kidding I do not want to know what you are planning to do with that body, mister. Drop it, get on the ground, now. Keep calm and no one will get hurt. He's in All I wanted to do was investigate, man. Like, I, I just wanted... Is it so hard just to get into the damn greenhouse? If I'm a detective and I'm on the land, can I not just go up and say, Hey, can you let me into this greenhouse? It's part of my investigation. Why the fuck do I have to sneak around like this? He doesn't react to the doors being open. Okay, so here, this is where the poisonous flowers are from. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Oh, yeah, I'm not trespassing. So when I'm in here, I can just be here? Interesting.
Yeah, let's go into the butler's room. We can break it open now. That's the last room uh, that I need to... Oh, did I... Oh, yeah, of course. The camera. It's the last room that I need to uh, investigate after this. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Perfect. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the- Am I not here to kill Madame Carlyle? Detective 47. I'm impressed. <laughs> Am I, I who's you go to Alexa Carlyle? Is that not Madame Carlyle? Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. What? Why would I? <laughs> I feel like I have lost the plot a little bit here. Agent 47, you're here to kill her. <laughs> Just... Let him kill her. I can leave. <laughs> Painkillers. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Yes, I am. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother, Montgomery, 46 okay. years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. Perfect, so he'll deserve it. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? I kind of want to do some more detecting, because I still don't know who killed him, right? Do I? I only know who killed... Wait, Emma? How do I know it's Emma? How, what evidence do I have that... Uh, I mean, I know we suspected Emma, but did we? what did we find that said it's Emma? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta catch up a little. Oh yeah, the poison. The game said it was Emma. <laughs> but... Yeah, but what did I scan for her to say it? Here we go. She must have gone to bed with an awful migraine. This says Zachary's company was always awkward. Last name states that she. This is viable suspect. Emma states that she has seen nothing out of the ordinary except that Zachary appeared depressed after the apparent loss of his sister. The game bluntly states that once you have the correct evidence, the game only lets you pick if you got confirmation. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, she said I have enough e evidence, but I think, I think she still suggests that she suggested I can keep looking because there's more I can find. Yeah, I mean, she had the key for the greenhouse, but maybe somebody framed her. Maybe somebody took the... I've played enough games, okay? Too obvious. It's too obvious. She just leaves her Looking shoes today, out in the sir. open in her room? I don't know, man. Let me just check the third floor. 
Let me have a- mm, but I can't. What doesn't let me up there. Maybe I'm done then. What do you think, chat? Am I done? Should I frame, uh, <laughs> frame the butler? If it's not one thing, it's another. If I may say so, these are challenging mm. circumstances. Or maybe- I think I have a choice. It seems to be his role in the stage funeral. Maybe I could, um... Christ. If he just grow up her. Maybe I could frame Emma, right? Yeah, keep it real. Well, not frame, but... I mean, like... Emma's a prick, right? I get the butler. I get why he'd do why he did. If I may, madam. Yes. I don't really know what more there would be right. for me to find. Thank you, Fernsby. Save in case I mess up. So can I just talk to her? Conclude investigation. Mm, no. I don't know. You faced great obstacles. I wish it would tell me that I have more to find, kind of. Six out of six clues found. Four out of four clues, two out of two clues, three out of three clues, two out of two clues. And then random shit. I think I'm good. Let's see what Fernsby says. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Oh, fantastic. Classic video game thing right here. Yeah, hey, bro. What? What security guard? Hey, Carlisle's office. Please step inside. Guard says, "Yeah, hey, bro." Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. <gasps> oh yeah, I could have accused Zachary as well. Cool. Ooh, I like this. This is cool. But uh, I'm gonna go with Emma. Your niece, Emma Carlisle, murdered your brother Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's <gasps> preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who oh. was the fiancé of your older brother at the time of his death. So Emma's she kind of a good person. You and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire <laughs> from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory get revenge and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out at takeover from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gallery to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. 
She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? He's fine. I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way, then. All you want is in the same. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. How are you, sir? Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. How are you? All well downstairs. How's Gregory handling the situation? Causing trouble or too lazy to give a damn? No, madam. He... he seems to be amused by the whole debacle. Ha! <laughs> he may be lazy, but he's not dumb. Having a laugh might well be the best way to handle it all. Would you like to see him? No. I need to address them all. I just have a few more things to get in order first. So for now, let him laugh. Soon there'll be nothing for him to laugh about. He may have to get off his ass and do some honest work. the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, 
found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret Why would it auto-save mid-conversation like this? Rather than like, hey, take the file. Okay, well done, Agent 46. 47. Now go kill her. Auto-save. It's a weird auto-save. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. Why doesn't she think that I'm a little bit suspicious, the fact that... Like, why does she assume I won't kill her after getting the file? She's awfully cocky, isn't she? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Of course. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. <laughs> Mission complete. Well done, 47. Stay on top of things like that. I don't know why the audio went like that. Would the guards not all be like alerted now? They're all just. <laughs> don't they have walkie talkies? Hello, sir. Hello. Floor up, aren't I? This is the next stairway. There we go. I'm just free to go? Really? <laughs> 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! I wanna, you know what I wanna do? I wanna load up when she's taking care of business after she finds out it was Emma. And I wanna see what she does. Nothing. 
27. Don't respond, just listen. Diana can't help you now. You need to find Olivia. She will know what to do. <laughs> I wish there had been more time. And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. Pretty smart of him to kill himself. I like that. That's that's why he's one of the best. That's why he's one of the best. I found it pretty random how all of a sudden we're in the woods with him. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know why all of a sudden we were suddenly we're just in the woods with him like What is the prediction? I find the prediction confusing. What are you doing in chat? I want to go back and I want to see what she does if I just follow her a little bit. For centuries, the Carlisles have fought to prosper all of us alone. If we could only unite across time, we could crush them all. No need to panic. Why are you back here? I just want to see what she does after finding out that Emma was the one who... Oh. You never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. You didn't get scammed, Chad. To protect the Carlisle legacy, what bollocks. Let's not do any more predictions. It's all gone. If I, I think it's kind of weird with this game. That bloody Arthur Edwards, how did I not see it? <laughs> I doubt our big brother could have botched it up any worse than I have, even if he'd tried. I wonder if she kills Emma. Surely she kills Emma, right? She found out Emma did this and that she's gonna get poisoned next by Emma. Any updates? Sorry, no, nothing I'm yet. I'm glad we speak the same language.
Please stay back. Crank it up. Mission complete. Mission complete. Let's move on to the next, uh, to the next mission. <laughs> I don't know, she's walking around so fucking slowly. I'm not gonna follow her for 10 minutes to see what she does. <laughs> mission complete. <laughs> This next one is my favorite one so far. Ooh, good. I like a good favorite. Um, Carlotto with the ten dollars. Been watching for a couple of years now. Finally able to give back to my favorite streamer. Love your content. You never fail to make me smile. Cheers, man. Thank you very much, Carlotto. Thank you for the ten dollars. Much love, man. Uh, before we try out this new mission. I'd like to see if I can kill everyone on this first one. <laughs> Ever since I talked about it, it's Look all I close. can think about. So, planning. We'll start in the kitchen. Oh, we'll put something in the kitchen. Oh, cool. I can bring a Bur Burj Al Ghazali snow globe instead of the fiber wire. Ah, fair enough, Mark. It's alright, I just get a little stressed out by chat when we do bets on some games. I meant to massacre! No, hold on. I meant to... Okay. Hold on. I gotta play it a little differently. I need to get an AR. I need to get an AR before I start shooting into the crowd. Gets escape, do I not get to continue? Is it just like mission failed? Enjoy the experience, sir.
know where I'm going. <laughs> ah, perfect. Here we go. I suspect I'll find anyone with an AR up here. Ooh, this guy though, doesn't Hello. he have an AR? Yeah, just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe and the security. This guy. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Point. Perfect. We're ready. Now let's see how many we can kill. Now let's see, yeah, we'll see how long I can make it. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map to... what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant.
almost looks like you can go up then. What the fuck? Are these guys just playing golf off of the building? What about people? What the hell is that? You read me. Okay, shit. This just got serious. Nothing here, command. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> is it weird that I feel bad? Like there's God, they really, I mean, like, this is, this is horrible. Whatever it was, I don't think it's over. Just guard up. she die what the hell? Oh. Oh, no. Kill the fish guy again. How did I get up here in the first place? I remember coming up here somehow. Did I go from up here? You knocked him out, it's fine. I did? No, I killed him, didn't I? Was the fish guy? Was the pilot the fish guy? Or maybe the pilot? Oh, he's alive! this this feels too fucked up dude I can't, I can't I can't I can't go into a crowd and do this it doesn't matter that it's a game that felt really weird we're gonna we're gonna stop it there as soon as I went to the crowd no 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 I can't do it But you know what, though? It's really cool um, 
that you can. And with that, I mean that games... Man, I remember when Dead Rising uh, came out. And with each Dead Rising, they talked so much about how many people you could have and uh, spawn and stuff like that. I mean, games have come a long ass way. It's come a long ass way. The fact that you can have like 200 entities like that and just have the choice to do it, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. But um, no, it still felt very, um, it felt a little too sinister for me, I think. It felt a little too sinister for me. Who is Olivia? Is she the one that got grabbed? Isn't the Resident Evil showcase in 20 minutes? Yeah, I just don't know if I'm allowed to stream it. Olivia's the hacker girl. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. I kind of want to watch the Resident Evil showcase. I could... No, yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think I'm allowed. They never, they're never clear, man. They're never clear about this stuff. That was funny and weird as fuck. My name is Matthew. I'll be donating a lot to talk to you. Hi, Matthew. Thanks, man. No, weirdly enough, I felt... Well, it's not weird, but it's weird because it's a game. I felt kind of bad doing that, man. I think it's because I did it on my own choice. You know, if you play uh, Modern Warfare 2 No Russian, then... It's part of the game, right? But if you do it by choice, I don't know, that felt odd. I'm trying to find out if people are streaming it. No, no, they're not. We could sit here and react to it. Such a weird way of doing it, man. Do, wouldn't they want, like... I mean, like, how does that hurt? Having other people, um... Other people stream it. No, I get that it's DMCA and they have the they have the full right to do it. I just don't see why they would be too bothered about people making money watching it. I mean, it's still advertisement. Is a YouTuber that does kill everyone challenges for every map on it, man. I'm not surprised about that, man. Hi, Ona. Thanks. What do you guys think of the game?
<laughs> you suck at it. Yeah, that's fair. I think it's good. I think it's about time they end the series, for sure. I think it's overstated its welcome a little bit, right? I definitely think VR looks cool, but it's also, it's a shame because VR isn't even, on, it's on PlayStation, the VR, but it's like, you don't even use, like, hands, you use, like, a controller. Which is a shame, because then it's just one hand, you know? You'll notice if you watch VR gameplay, I think I was reading about it, you only just use one, you never use both your hands, because you can't have the controller in both hands. So, I think it'd be really cool if they come with the VR for uh, Index. How do you exit? <laughs> 